Hey, what's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP and today we're playing a character I haven't played in a while. We're playing Barry McCockiner. Uh, great name, still love that name. And I don't know if you can see, I've parked here because it's kind of brightly lit, but you probably still can't see. I've got some crates in the back. They're as close as I can get to big bags of tablets. Because this guy, as you can tell by the plate, is my uh, shady selling character. And today we're selling, once again, Viagra. But I'm not going to go around, hey, do you want to buy some Viagra? Instead, what I'm thinking I might do is get pulled over for something mundane and have a shit ton of cash and Viagra, well, or as I'll put it, little blue tablets, in the back of my uh, vehicle, in the trunk. So this could either turn out to be a lot more interesting than I think, or a lot less interesting than I think. Right, I'm off to the county now. My uh, my cargo's looking good back there. I'm oh. <sighs> There's no toe on. <laughs> I felt the grass, but I didn't think I would. Uh... Right, let's do what everyone man does and uh, think that it's not that bad, even though I'm totally missing headlights. Come on, I got this. <laughs> 35 Oh, and that cop's coming <laughs> That didn't take long <laughs> Is he escorting me or am I about to get pulled over? Tricky question, but I'm doing 42 miles per hour, and I'm pretty much flat out. <laughs> to be fair, I only hit a small bush. Well, that, that's certainly an interesting way to uh, <laughs> to gather cops on you. <laughs> oh, that's so shitty. That's not even funny. He was right there as well. I promise I didn't plan that. That just worked out perfectly. No. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let's get my little thing written up. Uh, vehicle options, windows, front window down. Slash me use right I've written up my little thing now you spot dozens of bags containing literally kilos of little blue pills in the trunk as well as a fat wad of cash on the front oh on the front seat I should have put there can I uh, can I fix that approximately ten thousand dollars <laughs> oh, this is gonna cause problems Turn the hazard lights off and the engine while I'm How at it. How you doing it. today, sir? State Troop Gas, San Andreas State Patrol. You know why we pulled you over there? Um, probably the front end small accident I had. <laughs> yeah, you're driving no headlights and there's a whole bunch of smoke coming from your hood. You got your license and registration proof in, sir? Yeah, sure, no thing. Here you go. My name's Barry McCockiner. Barry McCockiner? Yep. I know, my parents were cruel. He hasn't even mentioned right, the sorry, traps. I'll be back with you. Driver license. Yeah, no points. Valid. That's good. Yeah, I do apologize about the uh, small accident there. I was making sure my cargo was alright and I looked over my shoulder and got slightly distracted. <laughs> okay, what'd you hit? Uh, well, it looked like a small bush, but I guess looks can be deceiving. I might have had a rock in it or something. Oh, yeah. That's why I put my hazard lights on so people could see me. <laughs> okay. Just hang tight. He's gonna go ahead and run your name. As long as everything comes back okay, we'll uh, we'll be on our way. Yeah, no problem. How's he not said anything? 
Dude. Dude. I'd be straight up like, yo, bitch, get out of the car. Maybe without saying bitch, I'd get in trouble for that, but... It's just like, yep, yeah, that's fine. Literally kilos of, um... Small blue pills and some cash. Ah, oh, they're just, um... Little experiment I made, part of my company, you know. Go out, sell them, make some good money off it. You should try it sometime. Alright, and what's up with all the load of cash? Oh, that's the profits from, uh... From the pills. Alright, sir, just... Give, just give me just a minute. Just finish running your information back. Yeah, no problem. If you want to buy some, let me know. <laughs> well, that went smoother than I thought. He's probably calling him back up. That's totally what he's doing. Called it. Here's unit number two. Do you want to buy some pills, deputy? They're vasodilators. They're, uh... Effects are really good. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it, though. Alright, alright, sir. If, if you don't mind, you just step out the car. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Gives me a chance to check out the damage. Yeah, just, yeah, just come to the side over here. Yeah, that's gonna be a hefty bill. Yeah, you, you don't mind if I pack you down just for my safety and yours? Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I got anything on me. Diamond. 30 grand. No, 308 grand. Marcia, just, 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 what's up with the pills, man? It's just... They're vasodilators. They're my own recipe. I make them in my basement. They, uh, they have quite a hell of an effect. If you want to buy some, just hit me up. No, sir, that's, that's fine. Is this even, what you're doing is legal, sir? Because you, you're driving around a whole big wad of cash, and you get a whole bunch of pills sitting in the front seat. That's it's kind of suspicious. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah, that's a fair point. But I assure you, it's perfectly legal. They're, they're designed for the... My market audience is the older gentleman. Let's see if they click on. Well, they are. It's simple uh, vasodilators. You can have one if you want. Try it. No, no, no that's fine. Just. If you don't mind, just. Can you turn around for me? Yeah, is there a problem? We just. I'm just gonna be detaining you. Just. For this, it just seems odd, sir. It's just. Having something like that. Nah, as I said, I deal in them. It's kind of like a car dealer, but I sell these pills instead. <laughs> no, but this is a prescription. You have to have authorization to do that. Are you a doctor? Yeah, I'm Do Dr. Barry McCockina. University of Oxwich. Mm -hmm. I made that up. I don't know if there is a place called Oxwich. Right, so just I think there is. Turn around again. Just come. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bye. Right, sir, just go ahead and step in the car, if you don't mind. Just take a seat in the back. Yeah. Hopefully this won't take too long. I don't think you need a prescription for Viagra, do you? It shouldn't. If everything... If it comes back clear, just... It shouldn't. Hey, Mr. McCoffner, it's, uh... Trooper Garland. Uh... Do you have any, uh... Anything that can verify that you have your PhD or doctorates? Uh, I've got an MD from the University of Oxwich. I don't carry it around with me. Um, right, but you sh usually tend to have uh, cards or, you know, stuff like that. Something to verify. If you're carrying around uh, prescription drugs, you know. I've got my business cards. Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can just get hand me one of those. Uh, I can't. They're in ha I'm in handcuffs. Or, or, They're in uh, the uh, yeah. glove box. Do you have your wallet? Do you give me permission to go in your car and grab it? Yeah, sure. I know how much is on the seat. Okay. <laughs> And do you prescribe these to people, or what? Um, it's usually people with prescriptions for my lead competitor. Begins with V. Um, but I tend to switch them over to mine if they can, because mine are less expensive. 
and have better effects okay, right. according to some surveys. Okay. And you have this, uh, this goes through the, uh, the, uh, DEA and everything? No idea. This has gone through the DEA, correct? Uh, I have spoken to them, yeah, I've got, I've spoken to one of their representatives. 186, what's the, uh, what's the board? Uh, the board, what is it? What is it called? Uh, I can't think of it. I've not got a clue. I'm drawing a blank here, help me out. I don't know anything about uh, America. The, uh, board for the food. doctors? No, food, food and, uh, food. The food they, drug they, administration? They, yeah, what is that? What is the abbreviation for that, isn't it? FDA? 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 FDA Food and Drug Administration. Yeah, there you go. Thank FDA you. approved. It. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hey, is this FDA approved? No, we're in the stages of getting it approved. We've given them to some of their what? labs for approval. Right, can you give me the people that you've uh, you've sold this to? No, oh, they're just people who live in the trailer parks up there, mainly. Okay, so you realize that you're selling prescription drugs to people who are... Not your patients, and uh, you are not cleared by the uh, FDA and DEA, right? From what I'm understanding, you just had conversations with these people. Nothing on this is coming back approved. Am I correct? I mean, all they are is blood thinners. They make your your they va they're vasodilators, so they thin your blood out and send it to where it's needed the most. Which, in the right, older gentleman, can be a problem with naturally, so I help them out there. Right, but any prescription drug that you receive, that you hand out and or receive, you cannot legally give out to somebody else. So what you're basically doing is giving a prescription drug to somebody who isn't prescribed it by their doctor. You're a doctor, not their doctor. But as you said, I'm a doctor. I'm Dr. Barry McCocker. Right, you're a, you're a, you may be a doctor, but you're not their doctor. I mean, the professional they go to doesn't really matter too much, as long as the effects are still perceived the way they should be. But, you know, that makes it illegal. You're not allowed to do that. They've had no Especially ill, Ill side effects other than... A, f a few people have reported loss of vision, but... That's why I'm talking to the FDA. <laughs> that makes it an illegal narcotic. You ain't supposed to just use it on anything. It's entirely voluntary whether they receive the goods or not. So what you're saying is that your your prescription drug contains mercury, right? No, I didn't say that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, I read that. That's I, what, I've seen that. That's what the test shows. There might be trace amounts of um, elements in there, but nothing beyond safe limits. As far as I know. <laughs> Do you know how much a safe limit of mercury is? Please, you're a doctor, tell me. You're not a scientist, but you're a doctor. Tell me how much of mercury can kill you. It's a few femtograms per hundred milliliters of blood. I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, well... I say we let's run his information on the on his MD and see if we can confirm that. Hey he's Bixby, what's the safe doctor? limit of mercury? Because this, you you kind of confusing us, sir. Your story doesn't make sense. There's no known safe level. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm a doctor. I make these pills in my basement, um, all sterilized, obviously. I crush them into tablet form, put my logo on them, put them in bags, and then I go around and knock people's doors, mainly residents who are older, and um, show them the health benefits and the side effects of my pills, and then offer them a trial. So how, but how many people have actually done this to you? Because you have a whole bunch of cats sitting up in the front seat. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. No, uh, I've sold quite a lot to the biker gang up over um, Stab City. Uh, quite a few guys in Sandy. There's the old farm up near Chiliad. They like it. Polito. Quite a lot in the city as well. 
the Los Vagos, I think they like to be called. They seriously like them. Is it FDA approved? Definitely, definitely not. It's basically mercury. <laughs> That's all it is. It's Viagra with added mercury. Search his car, what do I find? Puncture repair kit. <laughs> Sir, you know what's been t been tripping me up is why do you put mercury in it? Why is there trace amounts of mercury in it? That's not the main ingredient. This right, you so, said it's just Viagra smashed up and then rebranded with your own stuff, right? No, no, no. You you can't do that because that's that company you named is very trademarked. Um, so I, essentially, I make the same ingredients in the same way, and I mix it up a little bit. If you purify it with bleach and citric acid, and then add strengthening agents to it, different formula, same effect. I'm just making this up as I go along. <laughs> okay. He, he doesn't. He doesn't have anything else in the car besides the business information and contracts. So, am I free to go? I've got a appointment at 3 o'clock i got to make. No, not, no, not just yet, sir. We still got to verify to see if you even have a PhD in the first place to be even... Be I don't have a PhD, I have an MD. Medical doctorate. So, so what school did you go to get it? The University of Oxwich. How long were you there for? Uh, my course was seven years. So I completed six, then did a thesis, and got the points for the seventh grade. <laughs> weren't expecting that answer, were you, buddy? All right, man. I'm gonna go ahead and call the F FDA and uh, the DEA. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and give them, give my guy a call over there and figure out what's going on. And uh, they've approved or denied you, okay? For this type of stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Well, when we spoke earlier, you said that you were in the works, but yet you're here still selling. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's all fine. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and go talk to them real fast. I got a buddy over there. All right. Yeah. I'm in trouble. See, see now, so your story is changing. First, you said didn't. No one didn't know about it, and I you said they do. It's either they didn't or you don't. This is this is what the confusing part is. Sorry, who didn't know about it? I lost track there. You said it wasn't FDA approved yet, or you said it was still in the works. Yeah, it it, it is, yeah. I, I've spoken to one of their reps, his name was Steve. And uh, he, he's Steve. Steve, what? What's his, what's the last name? I can't remember. Uh, he sent me over the paperwork. I'm I've filled it out. Uh, I'm just finalising it before I send it back. With samples from the test. <laughs> but then, fucking send me the jail you already. Have to be riding around. Why? Why do you take cash only? I don't have a card reader yet. It's um. I just haven't got a ring to buy in one. Plus, a lot of these guys that take it, they generally prefer cash, so there's no need to fix a problem that isn't there. So, all this stuff is underneath the table, basically? No, I pay tax on it. So, do you have any paperwork on that, showing that you do? No, um, it's, I'm still in the first tax year, so I haven't paid anything yet. So do you have a business license to be doing this? Uh, I'm in talks with the Los Santos uh, authority on that. I prefer not to use the word illegal. It's implicit that I'm doing something wrong. I prefer to say what? trial phase. Trial phase, but it's still illegal. You see what I mean? You gotta go do all these different. You have a lawyer for this? Anything? Anything that shows that you are doing? Try to get approved for this. Um. No. 
So, so uh, you're basically doing something illegal, basically. No, I think I think the best way to think about it is that I'm looking ahead to the future. I'm thinking ahead. I'm being innovative and an entrepreneur. But you're letting pure strangers buy illegal narcotics from you. That's that's what I'm trying to get at you. Well, yeah. So does a doctor usually. Well, not not so much strangers, but they're not friends or anything. They're well, just a guy. Well, 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 a doctor. That's legal. They putting out legal prescription drugs that is approved by the FDA, not what you're doing, making it in your basement of your house. As I said, I'm on the verge of getting it approved, I just haven't got the certification yet. It wouldn't get approved, definitely not. <laughs> Alright, just sit tight, I'll be back with you. No, okie okay. You know, you, you tell, told me to talk to the DEA. Uh, you did not talk to the DEA because my sister works over at the DEA and she said you never talked to anybody. She ran your files, everything for it, nothing, right? As well as I talked to got my ready. brother's uh, girlfriend over at uh, the FDA and they, now they've seen your application but have not reviewed it yet, right? So they're going to look over it and they're going to see what they make of it. And they put it just put it on priority for me to figure out what it is, and we're gonna go from there when I get those back. We're also testing your uh, stuff for another uh, drug side uh, roadside drug test here uh, for other chemicals. But do you have the exact chemical uh, chemicals that are inside this this drug for me? Um, that's a trade secret. I'd rather not give that away. <laughs> okay, sir. Well, right now you're under investigation and you're holding information from me, so that's. That can be a charge if you'd like that to be. No, no, I'm just saying that if my competitors get word of what's in there, they could start adding. Sir, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really honest with you. I don't care about your competitors or anything like that. I care about the safety of others, and I don't want you selling drugs on my street. So if you want to not go to jail, then that's fine. Then I would tell, get, then go ahead and give me the truth. But if you want to, then you can go ahead and, uh, and not tell me. That's fine. But right now, you're looking at not uh, giving information to a, a, a law enforcement officer, which is against the law, if you didn't know. Well, I can say that it contains microcrystalline cellulose, bit of calcium, crystal meth, sodium. No, no nothing like that. Sorry, I I misheard you. Sorry. Um, titanium. Uh, it's probably got a bit of chlorine in there and citric acid. And I think there's a tiny bit of mercury from the uh, filtration I use, but it's, it's all above board. It's it's all fine. It's nothing harmful. Okay, just just for the record, never ever ever take mercury or chlorine. They will kill you. Okay. I'm not a doctor. You said you've sold in all already, seriousness. Correct? Somebody. Sorry, what was that? You've sold cash. Somebody, right? Double yeah. People. Well, I heard lost it. Okay. Probably a few thousand pills, but nothing too upscale to okay, a market. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> a couple of thousand pills. <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, guys, mercury has no safe level. Yeah, I'm saying it will kill you. Same as lead, chlorine, a lot of things. Never ever play with these chemicals if your kids watching. Don't ever play with anything. You don't know what it does. Don't take any tablets that your doctor doesn't prescribe to you. No, that's being 100% serious now. I don't want any of you guys to get too Sir, badly injured. Uh, uh, it's it's hard to figure this out. Like, it's, I feel like you're not being honest with us. I'm trying For to give you an easy sake. time, but you, you feel like you're not. Because a, a normal doctor would not be out here basically slinging drugs on the, on the street to random strangers, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, just because I'm a doctor doesn't mean I'm a practicing GP. I, I doctors do a lot of um, market research, especially the higher up doctors. All I'm doing, I saw a gap in the market, a monopoly, so I figured I'd try and take a bite out of that. And I was expecting legal but troubles, but not like this. But you... 
but it's technically you illegally distribution of a controlled substance to people. You, you know what I mean? It's not controlled. It's not mentioned in any laws. But if he has to get it, a doctor approval to take it, most likely it's controlled. It's not like Robertson. But okay, as I so said, on. this these this pres this drug takes prescription, correct? Just like a Viagra, takes prescription, and most blood thinners like Colonidine. Um, potentially. Yes. <laughs> so. You realize you were selling drugs underneath. One second. I genuinely didn't know Viagra was prescription. You want to come back here real quick? Genuinely, hundred percent didn't know that. I thought it was just like pop to your chemist, get one, take one, have a good so night. So he's selling. He's gonna. He's basically you can get him for uh, selling prescription drugs not approved by the FDA. Since it's, drug, yeah, he's, okay. since it's a prescription drug, good luck finding just a like charge Viagra for that. and Clonidine, it's a blood thinner. Um, you can take him in for the selling these drugs that aren't approved by the FDA, which would make it an OTC. So, because right. so. he's he's already confirmed that it's supposed to be it's supposed to be an, uh, an OTC, which is, over the counter. That's why he requested the FDA to approve it. So, and they Basically haven't even approved substance. it yet. Yeah, he's selling a controlled substance. And he's trying to walk around and saying it's not, but it is. That's the thing. They would never. Yeah, it's not. A, that's why he went that. for the FDA to approve it. So, yeah. if you want to get him on selling a controlled substance without FDA approval, illegally selling controlled substance. Yeah. yeah that's... Bingo. Sorry. What were you gonna say? <laughs> that echo, that no, bingo, nothing. that I was just hurt. looking at that, I was just... Um, echo, echo. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought, but yeah. So, I bet yeah. you can take him back to the station and uh, run and see what it is, because I bet you that makes sure he's gonna come back to something else. No, it's not. Yeah, it has to thorough. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably take it back and let people down there handle it. But just take him in, like you said, for... Selling a controlled substance, as well as uh, um, you could even have him. I'm sure he's taken it. I'm sure you could have him taken uh, a uh, a piss test, and I'm sure he'll he'll come back with whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. Will, that will tell you if it's what uh, cocaine, meth, whatever. But as well as at this point, you can go ahead and seize the uh, ten thousand dollars. I mean, it's not illegal to carry that money. However, it was with the drugs, so you can go ahead and confiscate that money, the ten thousand dollars that he has in there. God damn it! Yeah, I didn't want to tell him any of this while we were at the window because we didn't. Did you read him his rights yet? Because he's just being detained, so I didn't want to give him all that and then him when yeah. we read him his rights. We can't use that shit in court, so. Yeah, we. Yeah, but, but I, I didn't read him his rights yet. Alright, so Ooh, then now you got it. Mistake. So it's all you buddy. Alright. Got it from here. Just go ahead and take him in. Yeah, I got him. I would all definitely right. try to see if you can't find out what, what that that drug is exactly, because it might be see if it might be opiates, uh anything like that. A schedule one or two. Cause if the lost are looking at it then it, it's it's got to be something. There's got to be something they can mix it with. Yeah, right. something. Yeah, something because I was the hoping they would pick up on that. I'm so hoping they'd pick up on that. I'm so happy. <laughs> yep. right, go ahead and head. Up. I got the car. When I was naming the place, I was just thinking, right, where where is crackheads? Who would buy this? The Vagos, the Lost, and <laughs> basically the dealer's dealer. <laughs> I'm so happy they they realized that. All right, they're probably gonna have a lot of questions for me at the station, and this took a lot longer than I thought it would. So uh, I'm gonna call it a night here, and thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you go down to below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. That's good luck. The two of them together, good luck. You'll find loads of money. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.